Educate. Empower. Enable. Impact. Thank you for tuning in to That Will Never Work podcast, where we share inspiring information and personal experiences related to business and the entrepreneurial journey from those who are leaders in their respective field. Now, here's your host, author and business coach, Maurice. Hey, everybody. Hey, everybody. Thank you very much for tuning in today. You know, uh, we have really been on this kick of talking about this book. Uh, and here is a, the, one of the last points uh, in which, which I've had to come to grips with personally. So one of the last points, you know, is, is about uh, expecting nothing and accepting everything. That's the mindset, right? I'm pretty sure you've heard that before. Expect nothing and, and accept everything. Well, here, here is the challenge, though, in that uh, if you expect nothing, well, what are you doing it for? That was always one of my questions. Why am I doing it? Why am I in this position? Why am I uh, uh, podcasting? Why am I trying to write a book? Why am I, you know, learning how to ride a bike? Why am I working out? Like if I'm if I am in a position of not expecting anything, then what am I doing it for? And that's really a a, a um something that, that that's hard to fathom if you will i know for myself just from a position of and this is uh most recently uh, of one to control almost any and everything that came across my path i wanted to control it right because i was expecting something something out of it i wanted something out of it so when you think about that are you really loving the life that you have currently. And and if you're controlling everything and you have such high expectation, what are you really getting out of life? Are you able to accept nothing but accept anything or everything? Do you accept the fact that you failed, right? And now it's time to move on to the next thing. So some people might say, no, I don't accept failure. Like, failure is not good enough. Well, here's the reality. Everyone fails, right? Just have to accept that fact. Everyone fails. You fail at something. You're not the greatest at every single thing that you do. But until you accept the fact that you have failed, now you have something to look forward to. Now you have something that that you can work on and improve. So sometimes um, also having these unreachable expectations hinder us because now we are dealing with anxiety or we're dealing with depression or um, we, we're putting so much undue pressure on those that are around us, things like that. Like, you know, so, so how fair is that? Now I'm not going to say you accept everything because that's hard for me to do. I'm going to be honest with you. Right. Um, I can't just accept anything um, or everything that, that, that sometimes it doesn't compute. When you say it out loud. And the reality is you accepting it does not mean that you are okay with it, but that you're taking ownership of the situation, right? You're taking ownership of it. Hey, I have failed. Yes, I did. Now it's time for me to take it and flip it. You're taking ownership of the situation. You're not necessarily accepting it and just go, you know, keeping it moving. You're accepting it owning it and now flipping it to something else. The mindset is that, you know, you can change anything, right? But do you have ownership of it? 
Do you have the the mindset of, hey, this is, is my fault, as some people might say, my bad, as some people may say, uh, my apologies, um, that's my failure, I have created that situation, now it's time for us, for me, for we, to make a difference, to change our altitude, our attitude, to, to now take a bad situation and turn into something that is great, magnificent. You know, how do you take uh, um, a painting, right? And, and you're like, hey, you know what? I really messed up right here. Well, you know, people do like abstract. People do like uh, uh, things as one of one, right? Um, you can take that one stroke of, of, of your your brush and you can change it to something that could be a masterpiece. Maurice, how do I do that? Well, are you going to take that same brush and put another color on it and change the color? Are you going to take that brush and just brush over it a little uh, lightly, dry brush it? Are you going to swirl it? Like, you know, there are so many different techniques that you can use to make what looks like a mess up into a masterpiece. So, so let's not allow our expectations to override everything in our lives. Because that's how you mess yourself up. That's how you, you put yourself into a box. And now you can't get out of it. You're not sure how, you know, what am I supposed to do? How am I supposed to maneuver through this process, through this thing called life, through this you know, career through my entrepreneurial journey as a a parent, a grandparent, whatever the situation is, how do you get yourself out of it? If you have such great expectations, I have taken the time to really analyze what my own challenges has been over the years as i stated previously i i i I wanted to control everything it wasn't until someone said maurice and i said it to you in a previous uh, uh episode they said maurice delegate outsource do something that that takes all the the pressure off of you and, and and so what I mean by that is, is that I have an expectation of whatever work I get, I'm trying to get done. I see what the vision is, right? I have an idea of where I want my desired outcome to be. And now I'm trying to control it and, and maneuver it to, to what I think it should be. Not understanding that sometimes that, that in most times hearing that critique on the outside will now make it greater, better. Hearing it from someone else and what what they see from a fresh set of eyes because, you know, and I was just dealing with someone about this not too long ago where I believe that they've been handling certain things so long and they're on top of it so much that they keep missing things. They're they're not taking the greatest notes, or the you know, or or um, they're not grasping the information. Well, sometimes you need to pull away from something and get to have fresh eyes. I.e., giving it to someone else to to look it over for you, for them to give you some positive or negative feedback. Whatever the situation is, that's the way we grow. So sometimes our expectations take over, and they do not allow us the flexibility to accept everything because we have put ourselves in a box. And so right now we're, we're saying we're only accepting this one thing, but what happens when that one thing doesn't happen? Now you ready to give up. You ready to throw it in the trash. You ready to move on to the next idea. What is it? So, Let's let's just just take a look at the picture as a whole and understand 
that the picture can still be perfect regardless regardless of how we feel whatever we're dealing with we can still have that thank you very much for listening today i hope that you enjoy my my uh, uh feedback from this particular book called unf yourself you can find it on amazon the uh um it is written by gary john bishop i have read the book Personally, I have listened to the audio book, audio book um, and I will continue to give you reviews about different books as we move forward. Thank you very much for listening today. Thanks for listening. Find us on social media at Chisholm Group LLC and check back weekly for new episodes. Until next time, that will never work or will it?